All right, guys. I'm sorry about the, the blurriness of his camera, but little things going on today. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some uh, some uh, keychains, leaf keychains. Uh, and on my last video, I, I know yeah, I told you guys that I'm in the process of opening up an Etsy account to work and uh, start selling some of my product. So I'm gonna make some of these up to. Uh, Try to get ahead of it. It's going to be the first of the year when I open it up. I decided to wait till January to do that. And, uh, for, uh, numerous reasons I just won't get into. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to make some of these up so I can post those on that, that site, the Etsy website. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to get started on this and, 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 uh, uh, Thought I'd bring you guys along to, to, to watch the process, and, and, and they're very easy to make. It only takes, at the most, 20 minutes to make one, and 30 minutes, maybe. So I'm just gonna bring you guys along with it, and and hope you enjoy the video. We're gonna get everything set up, and then then we'll turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. So hang with us, guys, and we'll get started. Very easy to make. So once that metal heats up, we'll start the start pounding them out and I'll show you how easy they are to make. They're easy, very simple to make. This is thin metal so it doesn't take that long to get it even up. draw this into a point to make kind of a leaf and then we'll flatten it out and put a stem on it. The longest part of this process is putting the, uh, the texture on there for the leaf. That takes the longest. I believe that, but I think so. I'll do is I'll cut it about right in here and then we'll draw that out and put a twist on it and bring it back on itself. We'll show you when we get there.
Alright guys, uh, if you can see that, what we're going to do is we're going to draw this out to a, uh, to a round and stretch it. And this is going to be our leaf part down on this end and this will be our stem coming out. So we're going to put it back in the fire and then we'll start paneling that out. Upcoming project that I want to do is uh, I've been watching some videos on, on YouTube about frying pans and I want to try to make a frying pan so look forward to that coming up. This it shouldn't be too much longer after I get some of these made up and get some things processed so in the future I can just throw them on the, the Etsy website that I'm going to create.
now where I can start making this round. So here we go. If I can get three of these made today, I'll be happy. I'm only gonna bring you guys along with one of them because you don't want to watch me make three. texture and stuff on there I can probably refine that a little bit on the on the grinder make it look a little better so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna put the texture on and then we'll uh, put it on a wire brush so I don't want to bend that until I get the uh, texture on
Alright guys, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to take the chisel and come through here and put the texture on the leaves and uh, once I get that tip refined, because I want to get that looking a little better than it, than it does, so I'm going to turn you off and then I'll get back with you. Alright guys, I got it cleaned up, what we're going to do is we're going to put a hit on on that and then we'll put our texture on it and then uh we'll, we'll twist the uh, end of it put the loop on it clean it up first we'll go down the middle with a line straight line and then on both sides and then we'll start putting our texture on each one of these will be different because no two leaves are alike I can guarantee you that This is the tedious part. Takes some time. Consuming time. But it's gonna be worth it in the long run. You'll see the you'll see the end result once I show it to you. See that? See what that looks like? 
focus in. There we go. Looks like a leaf, don't it? That's what that's what that's what we were uh, pushing towards. So let's do the other side, and then we'll I'm gonna turn you off, and then I'll clean this thing up, and then I'll get back with you. All right, guys, I'm going to clean it up, and then I'll get back with you on it. All right, guys, uh, what I want to do is I want to heat this back up a little bit and give it and take that ball pin hammer and try to put a, like a, a dip in it to make it look like a leaf. So that's what we're going to do now, and then we'll, we'll twist this. I'm not for sure. I think I want to come back on itself and then go underneath here and kind of like in a loop. We'll see when we get to that part. But we're gonna put it back in the fire and then uh, we'll do a little bit more texture on it and then we're almost done with this. It don't take that long at all. So just bear with me guys. that block of wood I just put over there, I'm going to use that to texture this, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll put some water on it so it doesn't burn it up.
All right, guys, at this point, all we got to do is uh, we're going to clean it up on the wire brush, and then we'll put some uh, color on it. So I'm going to turn the camera off, and I'll get back with you. All right, guys, we got, our, we got it cleaned up. It looks pretty good, actually, I think. Uh, we're going to put some color on this, and how, what I mean by putting color on it is we're going to take the torch to it. And it'll put like a blue or goldish color on there. It's going to look pretty decent when I get it done. I'll show it to you. Actually, we're going to film it while we're doing it. So let's get it locked in our pliers and then I'll show you what I'm doing. I hope you can see that. You can see it. You'll, you'll see it changing colors. See the gold coming in it, and the blue. And what I'll do is I'll back off from it so it doesn't seek all the way in. So I just want that tip to be blue. That's about it guys and now I'll just I'll let it air cool I don't want to put it in water or nothing because I did that with a with a feather one time and it took a lot of the color out of it so we're gonna let that air cool on the, on the anvil that's it that's how we make the uh, the leaf key ring pretty simple pretty simple process not that hard to do, easy to make. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today and I hope you uh, go ahead and hit, hit the like button down there if you liked it. Leave, leave me a description. Leave me something in the comments if you, if you would please. I love reading the comments so I thank you guys for coming along with me and I hope you have a blessed day and stay safe out there guys. God bless you.